Hi, in this short tutorial, I will show how to index uh, many PDF documents to Elasticsearch for uh, full text search. As we know, Elasticsearch is the most popular uh, search engine uh, used these days, and it is based on Lucene. If you don't have Elasticsearch and uh, Kibana installed in your machine, check out my video tutorial on installation. I have included a link to it in the description section down below. So in this tutorial, we will see two approaches on how to index uh, PDF documents to Elasticsearch. The first one is using the Python client. Uh, this is the website. So the first thing we do is we install uh, uh, Elasticsearch using pip install and the second approach is using uh, file system crawler fs crawler, crawler uh, which has a well documented uh, github page it is this one so we are going to see both approaches and i have included uh, here i have list of i have uh, some some books that I want to index some data science books about 16 16 data science books like for example the if I show the first one this is a famous Python for data analysis book and maybe another one this is spark for Python developers and so on so we are going to index all these books uh, using both approaches okay so i'm using here i'm importing elasticsearch and also this one is to change my working directory and have a list of the files file names in the directory pypdf2 is important to read pdf documents and i will create a data frame so that's why i'm importing pandas here okay then here i'm changing my working directory to this one to the, to the folder that contains the books and glob is here creating list then list uh, of the names of the books in that directory and i can see how many books i have using len so i have 16 books and I also i can print the name of the books here have them printed out so i have uh, a function here this function uh, it extracts uh, it reads the pdf documents and creates a data frame so each each book is um, a single week, a single row and each row contains the book name and then the content the content is like all the pages it's a long string of all the pages uh, in that book so as you can see here i have a counter for the data frame here i create a, an empty data frame so for file in files like for book in books for each book I will go over each page and create a long string so that long string will be uh, in the data frame it will be the content and the file or the book name is like the name so this will give me a single data frame of the books and the content inside them so this one if I execute it it may take some time so until it finishes this one, until this finishes, let's see the second approach. The second approach is uh, uh, to go and go ahead and download the file system uh, crawler. So download, you can download it from here. I have already downloaded mine. Just download it and unzip it. After that, you will get this one. I have downloaded and unzipped it and I have this one so after that uh, we go here and uh, if you go to the website and see the user guide and getting started you can create a configuration directory that contains the uh, the settings and let me get this okay so here i can start a command prompt a command window here 
and then the ban it here since this is for windows i have to change this to backslash uh, and let's call the directory ds and the index name let's call it data science so this will be the index name in Elasticsearch. so if i execute this it will ask me if i want to create the, that uh, directory and i say yes next time i run this then it will go to the uh, to the box direct to the box folder and index everything that it found that so let's run it again so the first the first time it creates the the, the directory by the way let's go and check the folder if there is data science folder here yeah it is here and also you see here data science and the settings is here by the way in the settings there are a couple of things that we have to change this URL it should show it should be the folder that contains a list of PDFs that you want to index so in my case this is a list of books and also a single slash doesn't work here it should be a backward slash and it should be double backward slash for me that is what worked single backward slash didn't work so the update rate is every 50 minutes if there are streaming uh, pdf files actually if the if you want it to be executed just once uh, there is a way to do that you can also change this the frequency to every five minutes or three hours and so on as you want and um, also if you remove any documents from that folder it will they will be also removed from Elasticsearch. if you don't want that you can change this to false and uh, metadata is also added if you don't want this metadata to be added to elastic search you can change this to false uh, this is a python way okay so now i have this settings next time i run the clouder crowder it is going to index uh, the pdf documents if you go to kivana and say get uh, data if you check this data science uh, we should we should get an error message because we have not yet indexed it so as you see there is error and the root cause is because index were, uh, the index data science was not found okay now if i go and rerun this it is going to start indexing it but since i want to index it only once i don't want to like it i don't have any streaming data so what i can do is uh, i have to pass loop one this one so that it finishes it just does one time and stops loop loop one so it will index all the books and then after that it's it will stop okay yep now it has stopped and it has indexed all the pdf documented and as you saw it was very fast we can say let's check now if we have this index get data signers we should i should get a mapping now as you can see it has been indexed and it gives me the mapping and uh, the mapping and setting also i can just search if i want and it will give me sample results i can check like the books are there like the text of each book is here and i can do i can perform uh, my searches over this index upon this index if i want okay so like for example search we let's say let's search uh, the term uh, data science so I want only, uh, uh, let's say, path, and my query will be uh, much, say, let's search a phrase, and the phrase content is a field, and I'm searching for data science. This one is uh, I, I want I want my search to return only the path where this data science term is found, but the data science is under content. So if you see here, uh, I have different filters and content is uh, the PDF content like the the text in the PDF, 
and pav is uh, like the name of the book the name of the files uh, or we can check let's run this and see the setting settings and mappings if we remove this get data science if i run this this is the different filters here i have content here which is the text and uh, path is here okay so in this search it is going to return the path of the books that contain where the where the text contains uh, the term data science okay if i run this it gives me this result and it tells me there are four hits for results and it gives me the score maximum the score of each one of them this is the maximum score and it starts here the highest one is advanced analytics with spark that contains the data science term another one is python for data analysis another one is social media mining with r this one has the lowest score but it contains the data science term uh, spark for python developers we see the score here now let's uh, delete this and see the second option delete data science now the index has been deleted so if i try to search it now i should get an error message because i don't have that index so it gives an error message and the reason is because it doesn't exist okay now let's index using python see it has created a data frame if i run this uh, you see the first column is the name of the book the second column is the content like it is showing me some characters only from each book it is truncated uh, now i can index it while i index it what i am doing is uh, i'm looping over each row of the data frame and creating a dictionary of the uh, data frame columns and their values and that passing that dictionary as a body to Elasticsearch in here in es.index here es is i'm um, uh, instantiating Elasticsearch here as es then es.index index here is the index name doc type is uh, like the document type and the body is the body that i want to index so if I run this, it is going to loop over the data frame and index it. It has indexed it here. If you go now, if I say, if I run this get data science, it should not give me an error message. It should give me the mappings and settings that Python passed by default based on the data frame data types. So you see now it has indexed it. And also if I want, I can, I can search from Python. By the way, I can do, uh, more analysis from within Python because it is more flexible and I can integrate it with with Python's capabilities. So if I run this, I am doing the same thing from that index data science where the document type is books. Give me uh, the name field where the content contains the term data science. So I can run this. I can then see the search results. Uh, it gives me JSON. It also, I can then create data visualizations from these results or pass them to other Python uh, functions for other kinds of analysis and so on. So, in this short tutorial, we saw how to index. Uh, PDF documents using Python client and also the file system cloud uh, cloud by the way it, it this file system cloud it indexes not only PDF documents but also other kinds of files like JSON XML and other kinds of files and uh, yeah uh, different kinds of files here even including mp3 mm, and you can check uh, the github page the, the github page of the project it is very nice and it is also uh, fast i think as compared to the way i did using python i found this to be faster 
but Python indexing uh, using Python is more flexible and also more customizable and also for some environments for example to index to uh, AWS uh, elastic search service I found the Python option to be working but this file system cloud uh, maybe I'm missing something it didn't work for me but you can't try it but anyway I, I I personally like both of them especially the Python way of indexing but sometimes uh, the Python library like this one the library that read this uh, PDF document is a PyPDF PDF uh, library some PDF documents it doesn't read them it doesn't work appropriately if they are subcreed or, or uh, if there are some kind of uh, uh, I don't know unconventional kind of PDF uh, files it doesn't work it doesn't read them appropriately it just creates it removes all the spaces and creates where one word like all characters are uh, messed up and in that case it may be inappropriate if the PyPDF pdf 2 doesn't work for you you can't write the file uh, system clouder uh, or if the file system clouder doesn't work for you for example to index to aws you can use uh, PyPDF pdf 2.